Hello, I'm Jeff Armstrong. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to the button below. In this video, we're going to take a look at alerts. We're going to take a look at alerts in the document library. Uh, you can just about set up an alert anywhere in SharePoint. So what is an alert? An alert is some functionality configurable functionality that you can set up to send you a message usually by email but you can also get a text message that one of the conditions that you've set have been met and obviously it's going to bring that fact to your attention on your mobile device or your PC or in whatever format you're going to consume that alert in. So in this document library, if we click this ellipsis here, we see that we have this button called Alert Me. This document library is the new document library in SharePoint 2016. If you need any more information on that, there are further videos in um, my channel. So please have a look. If we click the Alert Me, what we get is this modal box and in this modal box we get a number of options so first of all at the top here we we have this piece of information now this is really important this is telling us what we're going to set the alert against so at the moment this is going to set this alert against this whole library so if any of the conditions below are met in the whole library it's going to send us an alert now that becomes quite significant later on, and I'll explain why shortly. The, the next piece of information is the delivery method. And as I said here, the email's going out to Jane, who, because we're in Jane's account. And it's going to go out to her on Microsoft.com email account. Now it is possible to set up other email accounts for alerts to go out to, but that's a bit more advanced, and we'll cover that in another video. We can also set up a text message here. As we come down, we now get into the conditions. So the change type, specify the type of change that you want to be alerted to. So only send me alerts when all changes or new items are added. So that's a, a, as an example, in, as we're looking at the document library, a new document is added. And then existing items are modified. So if somebody makes a change to a document, Items are deleted, pretty self-explanatory. Items, uh, a document is removed from the library. Now this option here covers all three of these. So if you have all changes uh, as a radio button, button selected, then any one of these th three things happens will we'll trigger this. Send alerts for these changes. So send me an alert when anything changes, someone else changes a document, ergo not you, someone else changes a document created by me, so only documents where you're not the author, someone else changes a doc document last modified by me, so somebody changes a document where you were the last person who made the change, where the column modified by would have your name in it. And obviously this option again applies to all, all of these. And then when to send an alert, send notifications immediately, send on a daily summary, send on a weekly summary. So obviously in this option you would get all notifications as they occur. This one would give you a daily roll up of all changes, all alerts that have been triggered on this document library. And this one would give you a weekly roll up. And then you can select what time also that you receive that information. So let's set that up let's select OK and let's just see this in action so if I select a new document and you see and let's just save that back So the document was automatically created. 
Now what we need to do uh, in this scenario we've got an Outlook account so we can go to the Quick Launch apps and here's the the Outlook icon. Now here's a little tip for you if you right click or, or click this ellipsis you get this option up. Now if you open in a new tab it won't close the current tag, the tab that you've got open which is quite handy because um, if you don't do that it will close the tab you're currently in which can be slightly annoying if you're working across uh, a document library and you want to check your emails. Obviously this is connected to Outlook in the web. You can obviously have this come down to your Outlook desktop client that would be running permanently off your desktop and you could get the alerts that way as well. There's no problems with that um, and this can all be configured up to do that. So let's just check here the Outlook account. If you're not sure how to check and, and create the Outlook account, there is a video on my channel that will show you how to do that. Have a look. So here we have, uh, you have successfully created uh, an alert. So if we go to this option here, it says that we have created an alert uh, on, on that library. So every time that you create an alert, you will get a notification that that alert has been created and obviously it will provide you with the link here to say okay go take a look um, at the alerts that we have um, that we have set up and where and then obviously you've got this link which is my alerts on this site so if we select that it's going to take us in and say look for yourself you have an alert set up on this document library and if we left click this it's going to take us back in to be able um, to manage this alert so you can come back in here and change these alerts that you've got set up at any time and that, that's quite that's quite handy um, to, to do that and some of the reasons you might want to do that for instance what you find with a lot of Certainly what i found with a lot of organizations is that the first thing everybody does is start setting up alerts. And then what they find very, very quickly is their inbox is filled up with hundreds of alerts that really aren't relevant to them. So it is a bit of a learning curve in terms of what type of alert you'd want to set up the reasons why and when you would when you would want to receive that information and what you can find is you can get too much noise and you need to turn that noise down and this is where things such as when to send an alert comes in for instance um, if you're not sure what you want to see or what you want to be alerted to getting a summary on a daily basis is quite good um, because it gives you a roll up of everything that's occurred and then over time you can then start to filter which one of these options you really want, whether you only want to see changes to documents where that you're the author or changes to documents that you've modified, or you only want to be alerted, if, for instance, if you're an administrator, if someone deletes a document, as an example. Um, so it really does depend on the, your circumstances, what your responsibilities are, um, and how many people you manage. Clearly, if you had 50 or 100 document libraries, this could become overwhelming and this is where maybe a daily or a weekly roll-up would be more effective. So it is worth noting that notifications alerts will not come through immediately. Usually they're on a timer job which can take 15-20 minutes sometimes for that alert to come through to your email address or your text message or to your phone dependent on your location and dependent on the speed of the internet architecture service etc it's also worth noting that if you have different levels of version control and you may have the approval workflow in place then that can also change some of the characteristics around how alerts are sent and when they're sent so th those are things that are maybe worth worth noting 
So if we go back to Jane's email address, we see that we've received this email. If we open this email up, it tells us that the document has been changed. There's the document name. And it tells us that in this scenario, it's been approved because it was part of the approval workflow process. And what we can do here, obviously, is we have the option. Uh, I mean, th th these are all clickable. So we've got modify my alerts, view the document, view the document lo library, or if you're in the mobile view, view the mobile view. We also obviously have the ability here to go to the, the team site. So if we were to click this, we could see, go back and see directly the document itself, which clearly is blank. Um, but that's you know something that you can do. Um, so it gives you one of the benefits that I feel around alerts is it removes the problem of searching. You don't have to go and search for what has happened. You've got all the information here in your email about what has occurred. So therefore, you you don't have to go and I don't have to go and look for modify my alerts or look for the document or look for the library. I just select one of these options and it automatically takes me there. That removes the onus on myself. It removes the thinking time and the usage of of that that thinking power to go and do these things. So it speeds everything up. Now, if you imagine that in an organization where you've got a hundred or a thousand people, you're talking about huge amounts of clock cycles being saved just simply by implementing this process. Clearly, as I as I discussed earlier, you need to get it right in terms of the level at which you set up the alert statuses and how you manage that. And we'll certainly look at that in the next video in terms of administration and management of alerts. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the button below and hopefully you'll join me in the next video.